Hello students, welcome back to our paper CHO5403 in which we are uh, looking for the Chiron approach and its application. So in my last lecture we have seen what is meant by Chiron approach and how the simplest and cheaply available chiral <coughs> molecules are used as starting material for preparing the most important and expensive chiral compounds. So friends, this is uh, very useful as the chiral centers most of the time are retained or uh, the chiral centers are used to make another chiral center in the molecules. So this is a one of the classical approach for the synthesis of chiral molecules. So in today's lecture, we will see the synthesis of R and ES epichlorohydrin from the D manitol. D manitol is a cheaply available starting material which have 6 OH group and it's a long chain uh, hydroxy alkene. So friends, D manitol as you know is in the sugar. It was then treated with acetone in presence of catalytic amount of H plus. Okay, we are treating D manitol with catalytic amount of H plus in acetone. So what will happen? As you know that acetone and H plus will protect this 1 2 diol in the acetal form. Okay. Acetone will protect this 1 2 diol. So it will be protected like this. So we get this type of compound 2 which have cis diol in between and acetyl protected two diols are on the other sides so next reaction is a reaction with lead tetraacetate or i will simply say oxidation of this one two diol with lead tetraacetate as it will break over here and we get two moles of this type of protected form of glycerolate so friends we get aldehyde compound number three which was then reduce this aldehydic CHO or aldehydic carbonyl is reduced with the help of NaBH4 to get the compound number 4. Compound number 4 is nothing but which is uh, primary alcohol and having this part as it is present in the compound number 3. Now as we reduce this aldehyde to alcohol, this alcohol is then protected with the tosyl chloride and OH is converted to OTS. Now, <clears throat> this is the simplest reaction uh, carried out in presence of pyridine. As you know, the PSCL, that is a paratoline sulfonyl chloride, can be used to protect the OH. Now, we have the compound number 5, that is a tosyl protected primary alcohol. Now, the next reaction is a reaction with H+, plus, or I will say, simply with the acetic acid so if we treated it with the acetic acid this acetyl protection is removed and we get this free dial over here now friends this r3 tosyl 1 2 propane dial is very important starting material for or important intermediate for the synthesis of epichlorohydrin as it have OTS over here and OH over here. So let's see how this compound number 6 is utilized for the formation of R and S epichlorohydrin. So I will carry this R3 tosyl 1 2 propendiol in the next slide. So we have over here R3 tosyl 1 2 propendiol. So this is a 1, 2, 3. So 3 tosyl. 1 2 propane dial and this is R as you can see here first priority second priority third priority and fourth priority so it is R okay so R3 tosyl 1 2 propane dial when treated with the strong base like sodium methoxide then it will form epoxide like this okay I will show the mechanism you can see here we have OH primary and secondary OH, this secondary OH will lose its proton to the base and it will attack over here and tosyl will be a good living group. 
so we get this compound which is again epoxide with the primary alcohol so this oh again methylated with the methyl chloride that is methane sulfonyl chloride in presence of tea that is triethyl amine as a base so methane sulfonyl chloride will form oms or with this oh so we get oms protected epoxide over here now the treatment with the scl for the epoxide opening will help us to attack this cl on the carbon and then we will get the epoxide opening like this so what happens we get the oh and h over here and then ch to cl over here we have oms as it is and then <coughs> we can proceed for the final step that is a cyclization or epoxy formation by treating it with the sodium metal in ethylene glycol so o h uh, will be from this alkoxide and it it will attack over here and oms will be good living group so among oms and cl oms is good living group so we get preferentially r e p chlorohydrin you can see here the first priority second priority and then third priority so it is nothing but r e p chlorohydrin so friends this is how we are going to prepare r e p chlorohydrin so as i already told you e p means epoxide so e p chlorohydrin this compound is e p chlorohydrin now this r 3 tosyl 1 2 propendoyl is also a uh, uh, very useful intermediate for the formation of es ep chlorohydrin so formation of ep chlorohydrin es ep chlorohydrin from intermediate 6 is a very simple because it only involves two step as you can see here if we if we form the cl or alkyl halide by treatment with the triphenyl phosphine chloride and ccl4 in dmf we get cl over here and you know that the last step when treatment with the sodium metal and ethylene glycol it will cyclize so as like oms o ots is also good living group as compared to cl it will go as good living group and we will have epoxide over here and the cl will be on the other side so this is nothing but yes ep chlorohydrin so first priority second priority third priority and lowest priority group is behind the plane so it is nothing but yes ep chlorohydrin so friends this is how we are going to prepare the r and s ep chlorohydrin if you guys have any doubt regarding this synthesis feel free to ask me thank you thank you very much